Hi, it's Michelle from michellewhiteheart.com and I want to show you how to get more comfortable being on camera. And when I say being on camera, I mean being able to talk into the little camera lens and feel like you're actually talking to someone. It's a great skill to have so that you don't get in your head and you don't freak out that no one is there sort of responding back to you, which some people really need that. And I totally understand. It really is helpful if you're talking to a real person. But there is a way to start to get comfortable with the camera lens, the camera itself. Right now I'm doing this on a, an iPhone and I'm not looking at myself, which is what we tend to do. It's a little more comfortable to do that. It's learning how to look into a tiny little hole or to a camera lens and feel like you're totally relaxed and you're having a conversation with somebody. So there are many different ways to do this, but what I like to call this is getting tantric with the camera, as if the camera is your tantric partner. When I say tantra, tantric, what I mean is that I am looking into this camera lens and I'm totally feeling inside my body at the same time. And I'm breathing and relaxing and I am just keeping my eyes on the camera. It's as if I'm partnering with someone who's looking right back at me into my eyes. So I don't know if you've ever done sort of the tantric eye gazing exercise where you are looking into someone's eyes and you're as if you're looking into your tantric partner and you're doing an eye gazing exercise with the camera and this is a good thing to do before you hit record or you can record this and look back at it actually I think it's very powerful to look at yourself looking into the camera and what that feels like so just take a moment Just look into the camera and feel yourself. Just breathing, feeling your breath enter your body. And also smile. Just smile and look into the camera. And breathe. if you're looking into someone's eyes. Feel your weight making contact, your bones making contact through your feet into the ground. And just notice your breath as you're looking into the camera. So you can be doing this while I'm talking look into your phone and just use this as practice so that you're staying with it long enough and this is really a great practice to learn how to pause on camera sometimes you run into sort of like the end of your sentence and you don't know what else to say, it's fine. Just look into the camera and pause. Give yourself room to be silent in front of the camera. And as 
you are breathing and staying connected to the feeling in your body, that's when downloads can come through. So this practice of getting tantric with the camera is also preparation for allowing downloads to come through and being silent on camera instead of like going um, um, and filling the space. Just stay in your body and give yourself permission to say nothing and continue to look at the camera. You don't have to go, you know, because that's really in your head. But if you just stay with your energy in your body, with your, feel your feet on the ground, you can bend your knees a little bit. swirling just allow it to be there there's nothing to do don't try to make it go away because that will just cut us off from you when you actually make the video just get used to including how you feel in this practice before you shoot the video or during This is where I tend to feel, this is where we tend to shut down our lungs and I'm feeling a little bit of ooh, tightness. I'm just including it. I'm just feeling it and including it. So letting your tailbone relax. Notice if you're gripping it at all and let it relax. So hopefully all these pauses didn't drive you insane. They helped you feel more connected to me. And I ac accentuated them knowing that this video is about a practice. All right, so go enjoy being tantric with the camera and give yourself, what, this was a 10 minute video, wow, that's long. Just doing this for three to five minutes, a couple times a week if you're trying to get more comfortable with video or every time you're about to make a video, do this, practice. It will ground you before you make the video for sure. It's a great practice to just do, and you can do it in, you can do it sitting as well. I prefer to stand, but sitting, all you have to do is feel your sit bones in your butt. Feel those bones on, the, on your chair, and let your spine find its alignment with the bones of your sit bones in the chair. That helps you ground and don't lean against the chair. Let your spine stack up naturally. And that doesn't mean this. That means feeling the relaxation in your spine. Using the sit bones to anchor you. So you can do the sitting or standing. Standing, I find easier to feel more connected to the earth. So good luck with getting tantric at the camera. I would love to hear how this is for you. Please post in the comments below any questions or comments. I would love to know. Have a beautiful day and enjoy being yourself, being in your body.